वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व डैश थर्टी थ्री दैट इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बीम्स एंड शॉफ एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हेबलर सो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज डिटरमाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलास्टिक कर्व द मैक्मम डिफ्लेक्शन इन रीजन बी सी एंड डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ एंड ए ऑफ द शॉफ ई आई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द टू शॉफ्ट दीज आर द बेरिंग्स एट बी एंड सी and at point a and d where there are two pulleys and the force applied is given as p so you have to find the equation of elastic curve it means the equation of deflection and maximum deflection in region b c and deflection of end a of this point so due to this loading the deflection of the beam will be like this one okay so it will be the deflection of beam so first step is that if you remove this bearing at point b so you will be having a reaction force let this reaction force is r b and if you remove this bearing at point c so you will be having reaction force which is equal to r c so we will find first this r b and r c by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b one moment is this p into perpendicular distance is a and this is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive so i will write it p into a the second moment is about point b is due to this rc into perpendicular distance is 2a and this is also counter clockwise so it will be positive so plus rc into 2a and the last moment that is produced by this p into perpendicular distance is 3a and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus p into 3a is equal to 0 so pa plus 2a rc minus 3a p is equal to 0 so we will get minus 2 ap plus rc 2 times 2 arc is equal to 0 so from here you will get rc is equal to 2 arc is equal to 2 ap so 2 a 2 a will cancel so you will get rc is equal to p now you will find uh, r b by using equation of equilibrium and that equation is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so from here you will get this first p is downward so minus p plus r b plus r c which is p minus the last p is equal to 0 so it means that rb is also equal to p so we have both ra and rb also you can see that this beam this shaft is symmetrical the loading is symmetrical about this axis so you can see this p will be equal to this rb and similarly this rc will be equal to p so you can do it as well now we have this r b and r c so we we know that equation of slope equation of slope and deflection can be found by using this formula e i into d square v over d x square is equal to moment so here we will use the discontinuity function which is singularity function because the load is point load and for point load we define the singularity function so i will write it singularity function for this load and what is that for moment so again this equation moment will be equal to you can see this is the point loading so if we go to the book and we can check the second scenario that is for point load so for if point load p is act at a distance of a 
and x start from this side so movement equation will be this one m into p into x minus a so note down this okay so we will we have the equation which was m is equal to p into x minus p into Macaulay bracket into x minus a power 1 now here for this loading you can see that load is p and a is equal to 0 because x start from here so we will write p into x power 1 because a is equal to 0 and you can also check that loading is upward so this value will be positive okay so here the loading is downward so this value will be negative the second thing plus this loading is upward which is positive and rb is equal to p so p into this distance is x start from here so this is a so p into x minus a power 1 the third loading is also plus rc and this will be also plus rc is equal to p into x minus now distance is a plus 2a which is 3a so x minus 3a power 1 and we will neglect the last one okay so this is your moment equation so if you further simplify it you will get moment is equal to minus p into x plus p into x minus a plus p into x minus 3a now you can put this equation over here so we will get e i into d square v over dx square is equal to this moment which is minus p into x plus p into x minus a plus p into x minus 3a okay so integrate it first you will get e i into d v over d x will be equal to minus p x square over 2 plus p into x minus a power 2 divided by 2 plus p into x minus 3 a square divided by 2 and there will be a constant of integration which will be c1 that this is equal your equation number one so integrate again integrate equation one so you will get e i into v is equal to minus p x cube over six plus p into x minus a cube over six plus p into x minus three a cube over six plus c one x plus c two this is your equation number two now you can see c1 and c2 are unknown constant of integration so we will find c1 and c2 by using boundary condition boundary conditions so what are the boundary conditions so first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 2a we have dv over dx is equal to 0 so let me show you here now you can see this is the midpoint clear the length is 2a and here you can see the if you take tangent to this curve so here at this point dv over dx which is equal to slope is equal to 0 so put in equation number 1 because equation number 1 is for slope so if you put dv over we will choose this equation we will put this equation so what we will get is e i into d v over d x is 0 is equal to minus p into a x will be replaced by 2 a so 2 a square over 2 now here plus p into x 2 a minus a power square divided by 6 
प्लस पी इंटू टू ए माइनस थ्री ए पावर स्क्वेयर प्लस सी वन ओके सो वे हेयर यू विल गेट माइनस पी इंटू फोर ए स्क्वेयर ओवर टू क्लियर एंड फ्रॉम दिस टर्म यू विल गेट p into a square over six and this term will give you zero because this will be minus a so anything inside the Macaulay bracket is negative it will be considered to zero so plus zero plus c one okay so if you further simplify it so from here you will get c one will be equal to p plus p 4p a square over 2 minus p a square over 6 okay not 6 because this is 2 okay this is 2 you can check it it this is 2 so c1 you will get c1 will be equal to if you take LCM, so P four P A square minus P A square, so C one will be equal to three P A square over two. This is the value of C one. Now another boundary condition is that at X is equal to A, we have deflection is equal to zero. So let me show you, you can see this is x is equal to a. So here you can see deflection is equal to 0 because this is bearing support. So put in equation number 2 because equation number 2 is for deflection. So ei into v which is equal to 0 is equal to minus p x will be replaced with a. So p a cube over 6 plus p into a minus a will be 0 plus p into a minus 3a whole cube over 6 plus c1 c1 is 3p a square over 2 into x will be replaced with a plus c2 so 0 is equal to minus p a cube over 6 this term will be 0 this term will be 0 because anything inside Macaulay bracket is negative will be considered as 0 plus 3p a cube over 2 plus c2 and when you simplify it you will get c2 will be equal to 4p a cube over 3 now you have c1 and c2 and we have been asked in first part determine the equation of elastic curve so put c1 and c2 in equation number 2 so what we will get is that ei into v is equal to minus p x cube over 6 plus p into x minus a power cube divided by 6 plus p into x minus 3 a whole cube over 6 plus c1 which is 3 p a square over 2 into x plus c2 is 4p a cube over 3 and if you further simplify it you you can divide it by ei on both sides so you will get v will be equal to 1 over ei into minus p x cube over 6 plus p into x minus a power cube divided by 6 plus 3 into sorry p into x minus 3 a whole cube over 6 plus 3 p a square over 2 into x plus 4 p a cube over 3 and if you take p if you take p over 6 as common so p over 6 ei 
P over the 6 is taken as common. So you will get minus x cube plus x minus a whole cube plus x minus 3a whole cube plus 9a square 9a square x plus minus sorry plus sorry plus if you take as common so this term is correct this term is correct plus 9a square x and so 8a cube and one thing is that this c2 let me check it c2 will be equal to here when you calculate it will be minus 4p a cube over 3 how so let me check it you can see that if we take c2 plus lcm which is 6 so 6 divided by 6 is 1 so minus p a cube plus 3 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 9 p a cube is equal to 0 so c2 is equal to c2 plus this will be 8 p a cube over 6 is equal to 0 so again 4 2 4 are 8 2 3 are 6 so this is minus 4 over 3 so correct it this value is negative again this value is negative and this is minus a cube so this is required equation of elastic curve which is the first part now if we copy this equation and paste it on next page so this will be the required equation okay so this is 9a square x this 2 is from the other one okay now in second part it is being asked to find the maximum deflection in region bc so at bc it means that x is equal to 2a sorry x is equal to 2a so we will put here at x is equal to 2a we have deflection will be in region bc that is maximum deflection and that is p over 6 e i minus x is 2a so 2a whole cube plus we have macaulay bracket so 2a minus a whole cube plus 2a minus 3a whole cube plus 9a square into 2a minus 8a cube. So we will get p over 6ei and this will be minus 8a cube plus a cube plus this term will be equal to 0 because minus a in Macaulay bracket will be 0 plus 9 18 9 2s are 18 so 18a cube 18a cube minus 8a cube so minus 8 minus 8 is minus 16 so I will write it minus 16a cube plus 19 a cube which is equal to p over 6 e i which is equal to 3 a cube so you will get 3 p a cube over 6 e i and that will be p a cube over 2 e i
and this value is positive so it means deflection is upward so deflection in region BC which is maximum deflection is this one now the third is to find the deflection at a deflection at point a so you can see here that here x is equal to 0 so put put x is equal to 0 in above equation of elastic curve which is this one so you will have deflection at point A will be equal to P over EI this term will be 0 because x is equal to 0 this will be also 0 because minus a in Macaulay bracket is 0 this will be 0 this will be 0 and we will left with minus 8 over a square a cube so we will left with minus 8 a cube and there is 6 so minus 8 p a cube over 6 e i and that will be equal to minus 4 over 3 P A cube over E I and this value is negative so deflection at point A will be equal to 4 over 3 P A cube over E I and we will write down downward negative means that deflection is downward so this is the answer of our third part so what we have we this was the second part so in first part we have find out the equation of elastic curve then in second part we have the find deflection in region BC which is P A cube over 2 I A 2 E I and in third part deflection at point A is 4 P A cube over 3 E I and that was all about this problem 12-33 by using discontinuity function or singularity function I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching